Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet of ours. Beautiful, beautiful planet. Not so beautiful in where I am. It's been quite polluted, actually. But anyway, we'll get on to that. How are we all? I'm testing out a different camera angle. So I'll look at the camera, but most of the time I'm going to be looking at my computer screen. I figured the problem is I need to have my camera further away so you can't see I'm not looking directly at the camera. Anyway, it's 4 a.m. in the morning here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm very tired. I stayed up late last night watching a Aussie documentary YouTube uh, thing about the Australian um, a tank and military museum where they were doing a uh, restoration of a uh, M3 Lee tank. And uh, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought, oh, Jesus, I've got to get up at 3 in the morning for this. But I'm here. It's okay. And you're all there, so we're good. Looking and sounding great, mate? Good. Thank God. It was better than last week. It was crap, wasn't it? I actually did a speed test to check and I'm right on 300 um, download speed and about 200 upload speed so pff, shouldn't be a problem the only thing is we're a little bit wobbly when I touch the bench that's because the camera's there but and we're on 720p because my free trial on StreamYard only went for a, a week so anyway we'll, we'll sort the camera out as we go I might move it again we'll see what happens um yeah good to see everybody in there um hey jim jim from chicago let me throw some temperatures up up because i've prepared them this morning there they are so there's your temperatures wherever you are well in most cases anyway i can't get everyone's temperature there um you will notice i put sydney in 24 degrees is a a reasonably nice day. They've had a lot of rain, I've heard. Have you rain, had a lot of rain, Paul? Anyway, um, I'll keep talking as I get out through chat and say hello to everybody. Um, but talking about Jim in Chicago, yeah, it seems to have gotten a little bit better, the temperature there. It's gone up a bit. You're going to have an eight degree. You're the coldest on the list this time for this week. Eight degrees in Chicago. James McDonald is there. Good morning to you, mate. Welcome. There he is. I'll put your names up on the screen so you feel more important. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, here we go. I'll put Jim there. You, you go, you're go. going in there too. There you go. Groucho Marx. There. Excellent. Everyone's saying good morning. Good on you. It's another great day for a live chat. Anything that requires anything indoors is, is good for, for this sort of thing, isn't it? I've had to come indoors for opposite reasons. Um, as you will notice on the temperature chart there, Thailand, particularly here, Chiang Mai, will be a top of 42 degrees Celsius today. I think that works out at about 107 Fahrenheit. And that's what it was yesterday. Believe me, I, I know. Uh, and I'm not one for air conditioning. Like, I've been here for a month already and haven't put on the air conditioning. But... April's the hottest month, and uh, yeah, I, even I'm feeling it. Uh, uh, a true blue Aussie beach goer, and I'm feeling the temperature to the point where I had the aircon running all day yesterday, all day. I have the aircon running right now. So how about that? Because the humidity is quite hot. Um, so yeah, it, it's very very hot here. Um, what I do, and what I will do today is there's a place downstairs uh, out, outside in the street there. It's called a, um, oh, what do you call it? It's one of those workspaces where you go in there and you can have coffee and food and they're set up with computer tables and air con and air purifiers. It's a workspace thing and you can just go in there. It doesn't cost anything. Sit there and have a cup of coffee and some snacks all day and enjoy the air conditioning. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Now, 
here's me. Um, the other problem here, hello, Azza's modeling channel from New Zealand. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Welcome, mate. Uh, I, I have to add New Zealand to the list, won't I? Probably a little bit cooler than Sydney, I would imagine. It's not too bad. Everyone's saying hello. There's Mr. Hobby Time. Hello, Hobby Time. Welcome, mate. How are we going? I'm going to quickly check across and see. We've got nearly 20 watching. That's good. Fantastic. As always, oh, we're only about five seconds behind in the lag too, so that, that's good. Um, what else we got? Skullfish is there. Good morning, mate. Morning, good evening. How are you? Uh, Gremlins modelling. There we are. Gary's there. How are you? Good on you, mate. Um, yesterday was also one of the most um, polluted days as well. Um, the smoke outside was just, whew. I don't know if anyone noticed, I did put up a, uh, a short, um, a YouTube short showing the pollution, although that was on my other channel, so you might not have all seen that. Um, yeah, it was the worst since I've been here. Um, yeah, and I think we rated up number two in the world for most polluted city in the world for yesterday. Having quite a few records. Um, there's Paul. Hello, Paul. I think I, I didn't say hello to you. G'day, mate. <laughs> uh, who else we got? Um, we got Stephen Haynes is there. I saw that. There he is. G'day, buddy. Welcome, mate. Welcome. Have you changed your picture there? Looks different. Maybe it's just me. I'm tired. Um, it's all good and uh 50s you got out on a bicycle today god yeah I, I stayed in today is going to be like you see 42 degrees again and the pollution is going to be pretty bad too well it is already i i opened my balcony door stuck my head out there and it's like it's like you got your it's like the house next door's on fire that's pretty much it it's that bad uh, i did get to the pool though for about half an hour uh just to cool off and then ran back up into the room here. See, I got my first electricity bill the other day. And uh, hello, Tim Carson. How are you, buddy? From Niagara Falls, New York State, USA. No, that's not. What? New York? Niagara Falls is not in New York State. Isn't Niagara? Oh, is there a Niagara Falls in New York? Sure. Is that right? I'm thinking because Niagara Falls is in Michigan, right? Or is that Illinois? No, it's Michigan. Pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there another Niagara Falls in New York? Anyway, New York's quite a big state too, like the state of New York. I'm not talking about Manhattan, New York. Um, and quite a nice state too. So, yeah. G'day, buddy. Welcome. And we've also got Ashley there. Hello. Welcome. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Yeah, it is over. It's very hot, eh? Hey? Yeah. Johan's there. Hello, buddy. Welcome. We're all pull it. All call, call it in now. There's James from Tobolago Model Works. Busy with the YouTube videos. Putting out heaps of content. Get over to Tobolago Model Works. And Gary T's there. Hello, mate. Welcome. Is that the International Space Station on your picture there i don't know what was it yeah it looks like it could be anyway g'day gary um uh, who else got there he is mr little history i just managed to jump in and say g'day as you were testing the lights on the back of your car there as you were flashing your rear rear end to everybody on the screen but that's okay each to their own yeah it's your channel you do what you want no, it's good to see you, mate. Good to see that the lights were working. Fantastic until they fell out. But that's another matter. It's okay. <laughs> good on you. Good on you, mate. So Terry from Little History, another channel worth jumping over to. I think you streamed for four hours, didn't you? I was, I was close. To, I think it was four hours. I'm like, wow. All right. How do you... How do we do this? Um, hobby time? Yes, I think I've said hello to hobby time. If not, I'll say it again. 
I'm going to go down the list quickly because there's people pouring in. Um, uh, yes, there is. Okay. It's near Buffalo, New York. I see. Um, right, yeah, excellent. We're going down the list. Who's anyone? There he is, Dutch Dave's in. Hello, buddy. Welcome. G'day, mate. Are there new people got new icons on their names, or is it just me noticing things? <laughs> it's a space. Oh, what was it? It's uh, no, my picture is Space Intruder Detector from Gary Anderson's TV series UFO. Oh, okay. Very good. It's Sid from UFO, says Stephen. Good. Okay. I thought it looked a bit strange shaped and yeah, very interesting. Hello there, Mr. Curtis. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I've caught up on chat almost. Fantastic. Um, four hours live stream. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Everyone's saying hello. Everyone's saying good day. All right, cool. Uh, London's 20 degrees. It seems to be warming up in the UK a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seemed higher than last week. Winnipeg is 14. Yeah. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Um, 14. That's not minus 14. That's a positive 14. So I think um, Ron will definitely be out on his e-bike at that temperature it's obviously warming up over that way too uh so good on you let me whip back over to the stream and have a look and we got 27 watching good we're getting up close to that 400 watching number and 300 thumbs up fantastic Can you imagine that day oh it looks like my stream has quality has dropped off again let me check yeah oh let me know if it's uh, if it's okay. It's unusual why that's happening, but anyway, out of my control. Um, and it's cooling down again next week, is it? Yeah. Okay. Good one. Um, what else have we got? All right. Um, so, what else have I got? What have I got? To to mention um yeah i mentioned the temperature the pollution uh it does get better here though it's only for april so i put up with it for the rest of this month and then the the smoke will stop the burning will stop it's happening out there in the fields and um everybody yeah i know i'm lagging a bit am i yeah i know <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I um, uh, and it'll cool down a little bit. I think it might even rain in in May. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I've only had one night of rain where we had a thunderstorm come through uh, in the whole time I've been here, and um, that cooled things down a little, little bit, not much. But certainly got rid of a lot of the smoke and pollution that was around. But, um, you know. Uh, Andrew's there. Hello, mate. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Um, what else we got? I'm just checking... Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. April smoke haze brings May showers. I hope so. Yeah, I know. Hey, well, what? Well, at least it gives me an excuse to do some modeling, doesn't it? You know, which I've been doing quite a bit of lately. And not only that, but I'm, I'm trying something a little bit different too. So I'm, I'm, I'm incorporating a second camera. Um, so. What I've got is I've got one of these. This is my little Osmo, DJI Osmo action cam. See? <coughs> Excuse me. 
So what I'm doing is, um, I'll just whack that on for a second. There we go. See? Yeah, two of me. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm using this as well to get in different angles up close to some of the stuff I'm doing. So that's um, working out. I, I've just started doing videoing with this. It just complicates things a little bit because it means now I've got to um, work from the files being created by the camera to OBS. And then I need to take out the card from here and then download those files that I've done and then go through and put them in the correct order in my editing software. Just takes a little bit longer to do the editing, but, um, but I think it'll be worth it because then you're going to get a better view rather than everything is top down view. We'll get some side view of some shots of things going together properly, I hope. <laughs> uh, who else we got? We got someone, James McDonald. I said, Yes, I said hello to you, James. Oh, Jones, Mr. Jones, Anthony Jones is in. Hello, welcome. There he is. G'day, mate. Welcome. Um, everyone's saying good morning or good afternoon or good evening. What's the time in the UK? In fact, I'd like to know, I'm sure that the clock's changed in New South Wales um, this morning. Is that right? Last night or whatever. What time is it in Sydney, Paul? Let me know. Are you still four hours ahead? Or has that changed? I could ask Google, but that's okay. It's, it's got 22.18 where Gary is. It's 10.20 p.m. where... A hobby time is okay and uh will i be joining jason's live chat he's continuing with the spitfire group build yeah <coughs> i don't know what happened what's happening there he for some reason uh wasn't on last week and there was no notification or anything to uh, let people know why um yeah i mean I, I i'm sure it was easter it was easter that's fine um and i'm not a big uh thing for easter but don't people go out with their family on saturday rather than sunday anyway you know it's only an, an hour out of your time for an hour's stream but anyway, yeah, I'll, we'll see if it comes on. If it comes on. I don't think I'm going out today. I'll be home all day today. So if if the stream shows up on my notifications, and sure, I'll jump in and say good day. Um, Charlie, hello there, Charlie Geech. Greech, hello. How are you, mate? Welcome. That's a new name. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm um, exactly 12 hours ahead of Chicago time, says Jim. That's good. Yes, Pete, clocks went back. It's now 7.20. All right, I'll have to remember that. Three hours of difference. So you're the same time as Queensland now. That's good. And then that means I'm on a little bit earlier. 7 a.m. That's okay. Uh, what time is it, I need to know now, in the U.K.? in london what's the time in the uk uh and you're another aussie good on you mate no andrew i don't get daylight savings in queensland so you'll be on the same time i know i lived 10 years in brisbane i love it up there uh, <laughs> you're in melbourne good on you mate well excellent very good uh 22.21, so that's 10, yeah, uh, 11.20. It's 11 p.m. That's late in the UK. Is that right? Oh, it's 10 p.m. Is that right? Yes, okay, 10 p.m. Um, okay, 
that's okay. Uh, I can't get up earlier than I can't do this at 3 a.m. It's too early for me. <laughs> I'm struggling at 4 a.m. doing this. You know, there, there's Mr. There's Gilly. 320 in mid Canada. How are you, buddy? Welcome, mate. You're enjoying my pictures I was putting up, weren't you? Eh? Of me roasting here in the heat by the pool. <laughs> ah, excellent. I'm going to try and join you guys on your live stream one day too. Eh? We'll see how we go. Mm. Ah, nice cold can, a bottle of Coke, not even that. A glass of Coke in my Chubba cup. Chubba glass. Still don't know what the Chubba is. It's written on my coffee cup too. Tomato. Maybe a Chubba is a tomato. It sort of, kind of looks like a tomato. Or it looks like a Christmassy thing because they look like pine trees on a snow hill. And that's a snowflake for sure. Chubba. Maybe it means Christmas. Oh, it's a mystery, isn't it? It's a mystery. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just get back to the subject we were talking about. What were we talking about? Building models. And look at my stream. looks terrible when I go to YouTube. 27 watching. Fantastic, guys. Um, God, I hope that gets better. Um, yeah, I know. Google Translate. That'll do it. That stream looks terrible to me. If you could see that. Oh. Let me just try and make sure everything is off that I need off. Yeah, there's nothing on my end that sh should be affecting that. Strange. Anyway, so like I said, I've been building some stuff. I've been building some stuff being locked indoors. <clears throat> you might see that little little mini bike over there just near my microphone on the bench behind you. See that little fella? Eh? You don't know about that, do you? Well, I was talking about the camera, wasn't I? Yeah, so we'll have some new shots in the in future videos coming up. Um, so let me just grab this. What do you think? Wow. Oh, look at that. I've already just knocked the tail light off, haven't I? Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll put it back on. It's fixed. Okay. I'll have to glue it later. Look at that. What do you think? Looks all right, eh? So there we go. Nice. This is a, a Honda Monkey. They're a very popular little motorbike over here. Turn it around like that. There we go. There we go. It's a one two five speed. Um, they cost about uh, one hundred thousand Thai baht here, which works out at about four thousand dollars Australian. I will double check that. Um, but yeah. It's come up all right. There we go. Finally focuses. So, yeah. It's not bad, eh? Is it going to let me focus in there? I like the little dash console and the mirrors. But, uh, yeah. So, the video of this build, which only took uh, four sections, uh, four videos to build this. I built this in a week. Um, yeah. In fact, I could easily go and buy one of these over here. It'd be good. But the trouble is they are really, really small. Like, not just small as in you see here, one six scale. Uh, I'm six foot one, all right? So if I was sitting on the seat on that, my knees would be around my ears. Yeah. No, not that bad, but yeah, uh, yeah, going from a Suzuki V-Strom 1000 to something like this, it's just, 
Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, but they do have another bike called a DAC, D-A-C, that's a little bit bigger and it's made more for um, touring. And it comes with uh, saddlebags and a top box on the back. And it don't worry, I'd already broken that off before. That's okay. It just sits in there. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this down before I, anything else falls off it. But there we go. So that video starts next month, actually. Yeah, because we're still going through the Formula One car, the, the Brabham. All right. I'll put the stand down. Gentle with it. Put it there. There we go. Oh, who did I see pop in? Mr. Zinzan. Hello, buddy. Welcome. Aloha. Aloha. Ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy, not aloha. They're my mateys. Aloha is Hawaiian. Ahoy. Get that right. Uh, what else we got? It's a nice monkey. Yeah, it is. It's a monkey bike. Um, so, yeah, I, I could buy one for, let me just do a, a quick take Paul's advice and just do a quick um, price check. One, 100,000 Thai baht in Australian dollars. And that comes up as, oh, no, stupid phone was still listening to me. Eh? Uh, no, it's not going to. Try again. 100,000 Thai baht in US dollars. 2,700 US dollars. So for me, 100,000 Thai baht in Australian dollars is 4,100. That's not bad for a new bike. Now that's, like I said, there's the other bike costs about the same and probably more suited to me. But there's also another bike called a uh, Honda Click. I went and actually looked at it yesterday quickly as I was going out to grab uh, something to eat. And that bike was uh, 50, 55,000, so half the price. Uh, and it was a Honda Wave. It was also a 125. It's more the traditional scooter style. But again, top little bike. In fact, a guy picked me up on a motorbike taxi here the other day when I went back to the hobby shop, which I'll, me <coughs> which I'll mention. And he um, he took me down here. He picked me up on a brand new Honda Click, and it got up and went along real well. Hey, eh? I was surprised by the power in it. It just it's all I need. I mean, I'm a light person. I only weigh 75 kilos, even though I'm six foot tall. So, so, you know, no problem at all. Um, what else we got? I'm just catching up. So, so yeah, oh, we'll see. Um, the other day I went and got my, what they call it, it it's a TM30, okay? So it's proof of where you're living here, okay? So it's, and you pick it up from immigration. They have it on record and it's, recorded by the hotel, the guest house, the hostel, or the apartment owner, all right, to immigration. Every foreigner who lives here or comes here even for a holiday, it's reported where they are to immigration. Even if you come over on a two-week holiday in a hotel with your family, it, it's the responsibility for the hotel to report your location to immigration. I went to immigration where I picked up the original slip that shows where I'm living because I need that original slip that's in my passport now to take back to immigration, which I did on the same day, worked out well for me, where I picked up a uh, residency certificate. So I now have, I will have when they mail it out to me, but I put in the application, all the information and, uh, I will have a residency certificate. That residency certificate gives me, allows me to, well, do a number of things, but in my case, buy a motor vehicle. So I can go now when I get that certificate on the 1st of May, they're getting it mailed out to me. Um, I'll be able to go out and buy a motorcycle, insure it, 
whatever and have it all in my name as I'm officially a resident here, okay? Resident being not the same as citizen, okay? Being a resident and a citizen are two different things. I will never be a Thai citizen in this country. I will always be an Australian citizen, but my residency will be here, okay? Thus, Oz scale modeling is staying Oz scale modeling. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm zooting, zooting, I'm zipping down the list. Everyone's saying hello. And I've caught up to the bottom already. Yes. The Honda Grom. Yeah, try a Honda Grom. Aren't they cool? My mate over here, custom built one and custom built one. You should see it. It looks incredible. Um, but they're smaller, I think. I think they're even smaller. So, you know, anyway, uh, there's something else I wanted to show you, but they're all outside in my painting area on the balcony. But I can show you some things here. All right, hang on one second. Okay. All right. So the next major build I'm doing, as you'll notice, the box is missing up there. I, all right, I got the Spitfire up there, but... The other box is gone. So my mini art uh, M3 Lee tank, I've just started it yesterday. Okay, just started building it. And I'm going to put out a huge, big thank you. Uh, why is I'm going to refresh the stream on my, my YouTube channel because that looks terrible. Look, it's running in like 240K or something. We'll see if it makes a difference if I do a refresh. No, it doesn't. Hmm. At least the replay looks all right. When I replayed last week's stream, it came up looking all right. But it shouldn't be like that. I don't know what that problem is. It started off okay, didn't it? So, yes, uh, the tank. You know that, Gilly. You know I'm building the tank. I'm sure you do. Name of Thai restaurant, Oz Chubba. Could be. Oz Chubba. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Oz Chubba. Yeah. I'm not allowed to work over here. <coughs> They're very strict over here for foreigners. You need a working visa to work over here. In fact, it is so strict over here. I've heard of people who have been outside their house you can buy property here. You can buy a house here, but as long as it's under your wife's name, okay, uh, you can buy a house. Now, I've seen, I've heard of people outside painting their house and getting arrested by immigration because they were working. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, there's a bit of controversy about YouTubers at the moment over here, uh, and whether that is working. Um, fortunately. Um, the taxation uh, and government uh, consider YouTube as a, uh, a hobby, not not an employment. Picture came good. Let's cross our fingers and hope it does. Thanks. Yeah, it will post fine. It's okay. But still, I'd like to be able, you guys to be watching. So let me get back to what I was going to say. So I'm starting on the mini art tank. For those who may not know, I'll be careful because all the parts are in here. All right, so I'm not going to turn it up the other way. All right, that's it. The early production mini art tank. 2,190 baht, okay? So it's 23 to the dollar. So that would be about $90 Australian. But because they're so lovely to me over there at Winner Hobbies here in Chiang Mai, they give me 30% off uh, all models. In fact, they give me 30% off everything. And I mean everything. So while I was over there, I went, I bought all the paint for all this. And I want to just say to all my members who have joined the channel, okay, through the membership, which is only $5 a month, by the way, Australian, cost of a good cappuccino. You might even get a regular one for that. <laughs> um, thank you for their contributions this month. And of course, for the for the for that and that 
help go out and pay for all the paints I need to build that tank, including I bought some X20 thinner, right? I bought some Paneline accent color black, and I've bought some brown, all right? That's not all I will get. I may get a few more um, oils and stuff, but that's it. And I got every paint in the list to cover everything on that tank. So again, thank you to my monthly um, members who uh, who contributed to that because that that's that's where the money goes straight into the channel. And I've like I said, I've just started that build. Um, there's some little bits and pieces in there that I've started on. And I'm also going to thank Mr. Paul Price, who suggested I go watch the Australian Tank Military Museum as they're doing a restoration or just finished a restoration on one of these. It's actually the Grant and the Lee, but they're the same tank pretty much. Full restoration because... <clears throat> As I noticed and explained to Paul, these are the instructions for our build, right? Really nice, beautiful pictures, right? You know, there's all the versions we can do, all the choice, which I haven't decided yet, but that's okay. There's, it's all the same build. It's just the, uh, the color scheme and the decals that are the difference. <clears throat> um, all right, and all the detail there, the sprues, the photo etch, you know, all that, that's all great. But then you get to the actual instructions, right? And you can see I've only done step one at the moment. But look, what do you notice? What's missing? Not just on that page, but on every page, all right? All the way through, there's over 100 steps there's not a single word on here at all. We've got step number, paint number, part number. It doesn't tell you the name of anything. Anything. What is that box for? What is that gun on the wall for? Um, what, 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 what am I building? What part is this? There's nothing. Nothing. Now, I love mini art. Mini art is great. I love the detail. Uh, the part count is huge. Is that like 1,100 parts in this kit? But, geez, at least Tamiya put names of parts on there. So I went and watched that, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I watched the whole build of that for on YouTube, um, the restoration, and I learnt that, in fact, yes, this is the transmission I'm building, that's the transmission, the cover for the tail shaft that runs through underneath that. All right. That's the gearbox, which is uh, a manual or automatic gearbox, which the driver actually sits on. They put a seat on top of that. But all these things I wouldn't have known. Okay. I don't know much about hardly anything about. I know as much about tanks as I do about aircraft. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so anyway, that build will be coming up uh, in May, towards the end of May, unfortunately, because we'll see. I'm, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here, so I may go to putting a couple of videos out a week because the last thing I want is people watching a video that I made six weeks ago and comment with tips and advice on the build that I've almost finished by the time they're watching the video. It makes no sense. You know, I like people to watch the video as at least close to where I'm up to. So if someone in comments goes, hey, Pete, why don't you use this color or that was this or or try and do this? I can do that because that's where I'm almost up to, you know, um, rather than, oh, sorry, it's too late. I did that a month ago, you know, so. Hello, Petra. I saw your name pop up in there. Welcome. I'm sorry I've been talking and letting chat get away from me. Um, have I decided? Yeah, like I said, I haven't decided which version. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. The Australian version, I think, maybe it has that netting on the top. You may have to buy some aftermarket stuff. And I watched towards the end when they were doing the um, the decals on the restoration. <laughs> you wouldn't – obviously, they're not decals. They're sprayed onto the front. But there was a coat of arm symbol on the front there and the number they painted on. So, um, yeah, that was the Australian version. I know Paul's built this and he did the Australian version of it. So I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh what else are we going? I'm looking down the list. Uh, turrets. The Grant and the Lee have different turrets, Pete. Yeah. And something to do with the interior of the radio, wasn't it? Where they, the commander took over the radio work that the driver used to do. And that uh, made the difference. But yeah, it was interesting. Just really. Yeah, see the directions, clearly. That's okay. Yeah, all right. But sorry, yeah. But there's yeah, there's no, there's not a single description of any of the parts on there, which is a shame. Uh, and I Google. I'm trying to Google and check that out, but Google made it hard. But obviously, that YouTube video was a big help. Um, Jim saying, right, Pete. Trans in front, transmission engine in the back. I think the radial engine was used. On the lead. yeah, it was. It's an aircraft engine, um, and that alone is a model. Uh, the detail in that engine is just incredible. <clears throat> and I made my first mistake on step one. How about that? And I even talk about in step one to warn people to be careful they don't make this mistake. And what do I do? I made the mistake. I, I couldn't get my head around it. I'm like, wow. So I'll give you a heads up now. So on this piece, which is the sort of like the firewall, it's, it sits where the transmission, the wall, the tunnel, where the transmission will go through sits there. Anyway, basically, on the bottom here, there are two tabs. They're locating tabs that go down onto the floor. Okay, you probably can't see because the pitch is crap, but all right, it goes down onto the floor and locks into place. In fact, to be honest, this part, so the tail shaft goes into that, into there, and the gearbox sit, transmission sits on here. It's this one, actually, yeah. There's two little tabs underneath there that will sit down on there like that, sort of, right? Now, I, I sanded them off, thinking they were from the sprue, okay? It's so easy to do. Um, and some of these parts are so small. Like those two little exhaust, I think they might be, or little air inlets. You can't see, sorry. Little air inlets on the top of there, all right? They're smaller than the piece of sprue that they were connected to. You've got to be so careful. Um and I also broke a piece too. I'll be very careful here. You probably won't be able to see it, but that little piece there that sits on the floor under the tail shaft cover between the transmission, um, that I broke one of the arms off that, taking it off the sprue. It is so delicate, these pieces. They're so tiny. So... Uh, yeah, I, I need to just be a little bit more careful. <laughs> All right. Um, you got the Mini Art Grant for $35 from a mate. Oh, to go with my Diamond T Rogers trailer tank transporter. Excellent. Fantastic. Mr. Model Tank Guy, thank you for your Canadian $5. That probably is actually equal to Aussie $5. I know the Aussie, Aussie dollar's always been close with the Canadian. Let me do a quick check. Canadian $5 in Australian dollars. No, didn't like that. $5 Canadian in Australian dollars is $5.60. Really? 
Ah, not about that. Five dollars sixty. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That that now now to give you an idea of what that is in Thai baht. Okay. Five Canadian dollars in Thai baht is 134 Thai baht. So one little paint, Tamiya paint, whatever, olive drab, costs 120 Thai baht. So that's a paint. Or I could get some more weathering stuff. But anyway, thank you, mate. Thank you. Much appreciate. Very much appreciated. Um, Brian Wimmel's going to bed. Good night, mate. I don't know if I said hello to you. I'll say hello and I'll say good night. Sorry. <laughs> I just don't remember seeing you, Tiger. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to catch up on chat. I'll go to you quickly because when I talk so much, 25 watching. Fantastic. Oh, the, the lag looks terrible when I look at it on YouTube. Broad. I hope you're all seeing it a bit better than that. Um, no, I'm not connected using Wi-Fi. It's connected with cable directly to the router, um, just so you know. Um, what else we got? I'm looking down. I'm saying Carl's there, Carl Scale Modeling. Hello, mate. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. Uh, I'm going down further. Uh, yes, all is well. Uh, it is, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, it's hardwired, mate. So that's not a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. It's my laptop. I really miss my PC. My, remember my big computer that I left? Yeah, I couldn't bring it with me. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's really, let me just empty the recycle bin. Maybe that'll free up some disk space because that's been a problem in the past, uh, making things, especially editing, trying to edit. If I get lucky over here and there's a computer store and I can find a decent computer fairly cheap, probably a good investment to, to buy one. Um, all right. Um, what's this? Can you buy Tamiya enamel paints there, Pete? Yes, I can. But I've never used them. I've never used enamel paints, sprayed enamel paints, because I've been told that they smell really strong. There's, the fumes from it are very strong. Um, and I'm in a really tiny, even though I'm outside on the balcony painting, if there's no wind, and there isn't, like no rain, there's no wind here. Um, yeah, I can't, the smell's no good. I certainly can't spray inside in here. You can't get them in the US. I know, yeah. And I heard you can't buy Mr. Surfacer either. Um, whereas I can get that no problem here or in Australia. No problem at all. Let me get rid of that weather thing. We all, we've all we all seen the weather. There we go. <laughs> um, so just get that back. Uh yeah, yeah, so that's why I haven't, you know. Um, in fact, I even noticed that the Mr. Hobby paints tend to be uh, a stronger smell than than uh, Tamiya paints. That's why, for this build, I've gone all Tamiya. Ah, yeah, all right. So, Paul, you're, you're suggesting there that I should use nail paints for brush, brush painting details. Yeah, okay, because they would go on nicer, wouldn't they? Yeah, I, I know they're better for brush painting. And believe me, there's going to be a lot of brush painting for the tiny detail in this um, uh, mini art tank. <laughs> My God. I mean, some of the pieces are just tiny, tiny, you know? Anyway, what else we got? Uh, Paul sent me some pictures of his grant. Can I show that? I can show that somehow, if it lets me. 
Oh, you won't be able to see too well, but there's Paul's grant. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. I even have, I actually, I don't know why I did it, but I actually bought some chipping fluid. I don't know how far I'll go with the weathering. We'll see. Um, Andrew's suggesting Vallejo. <coughs> Excuse me, I have some more Coke. Mm. Vallejo. Okay. I think I can get Vallejo here. I can get anything here. I can order it online. But most of the paints in the hobby shop here, Winner Hobbies, are either Mr. Hobby or Tamiya. Um, but they do have the full range. I mean, I walked in there. I did message them and let them know that I was coming in on Thursday, right? And um, and I list. I sent her a list of the paints I wanted, and she said, "Oh, we've got everything you need here." And I literally walked in there on Thursday, and every paint was there. So that was really good. And then they told me about these. All right now, I've I've used this before, no problem. And that's the same, Tamia. These are enamel, okay. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but they are. They said I need to buy this, the enamel paint thinner, to work with these. Okay. So if I'm doing some, say, some brown on the interior. And I just want to get it looking like there's a bit of dust or dirt inside or just some wear and tear around on some of the metal corners and edges and that. I, I would put that on, right, and leave it for a little bit. And then I would come along with a cotton bud with enamel thinner and just take off the excess. Is that correct? I'd be using this to remove the excess. In the meantime... I would have done a clear coat, Tamiya clear coat over everything so that when I'm using this to take off this, I also don't take off my paint. Correct? I think that's right. Got to do the clear coat before I start messing with the weathering. All right. <laughs> there was one time when I was building one of my ships back when I was learning uh, where I sprayed on some, um, uh, I didn't do the clear coat. I didn't put clear coat on. And I used some of this panel line wash to get some streaking effects on some of the panels on the side of the bulkhead. And I put that on and I started to use my cotton bud to take it off and the paint underneath came off with it. Oh, Jesus. Scary stuff. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, as long as you seal the paint in first, then you can use them. That's right. So I bought myself, I got three bottles of clear, okay? I've got gloss clear because you always need gloss clear. And then I've got flat clear. I've got two bottles of Tamiya flat clear because that's the end result of my tank, my tank's going to be done in a flat clear. Uh, I thought about using a rattle can, but then I thought, nah, nah, I'll do it all with the airbrush. So that flat clear will be the final coat on top of everything after after the decals, after it's been weathered, the whole lot. Uh, after I've applied all this and done all that, it'll be flat cleared completely right over. Okay, I'm just reading Jim's comment there about, uh, ironically, we can get Tammy enamel panel liners. I say you can get those, yeah, but not the thinner through X20, not the thinner though. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, now I try oil paints, buy some oil paints and Zippo gas. I don't know what that part means. Um but I think I do, all right? So back when I built the German uh, rescue ship, the Hermann Marweed, um, I tried using oil paints on that. 
and my first mistake was I didn't uh, drain the oil out of the paint first. Okay, so the idea was to get some oil paint, put it on a bit of cardboard and let it soak up away the oil, like the excess oil, and then use that to paint on. Because I didn't do that, it looked it took two weeks for that paint to dry. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Um, so, yeah. Um, what's this? I hope what you say about Mr. Surfer no longer available in the US isn't true, Peter. That stuff is awesome. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, I like, I've, I've got a full bottle out there of black, which is the most of the color I'll be using on the tank except for the interior, because the interior is white, of course, in the tank. So I'll be using Mr. Surfacer Grey. And then I will... Um, but now I'm having second thoughts about using um, uh, black primer for the out exterior of the whole tank. Now, I, my last tank I built, and anything really that isn't a light colour... I'll do the whole thing black. But now I'm thinking maybe just do it grey, right, and then come in with black and do all the outsides of all the panels with a black line just to accentuate the shadow underneath the olive drab rather than just cover the whole tank in that. Because I'm going to go along with all this stuff and do all the rivets and bits and pieces, weld lines, whatever, uh, over the tank at the end. So it's really, I don't need the whole thing done black. I really only need to go along and do fine lines um, like like you do on, um, well, like you do on aircraft. I watch people do it on aircraft, you know. Um, yeah. Ally Express. Over here we have a company called Lazada, which is really good, uh, and everything's there. There's one particular Tamiya supplier that supplies all stuff and Mr. Mr. Hobby. Um, what's this one? Make sure the clear coat is not enamel-based. Best to use acrylic or lacquer clear cleaner. Yes. See, I used a lacquer clear coat. Lacquer takes longer to dry, doesn't it? A lot longer. All right, I, I tested some lacquer clear on my on the base of the Formula One car, and it took uh, I, I think it took about two or three days before that was maybe even longer before it felt like pre shading. That's the word I was looking for, Gary. Pre shading. That's right. You pre shade on a tank. Hey, where's James? James is the guy who does all this. Well, so should model tank guy. With, that's your name. <laughs> eh? Anyway, um, so, yeah, the lacquer clear, yeah, or acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic clear. I'm using the X20, I think. That's what it is, yeah. Look, I'll be back in a sec. I'll grab it. I'll show you. Hang on, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, yeah. So, what have I got here? Okay, so this is the stuff you want. This is the magic stuff here. All right. Okay, that's the fifteen hundred black. Okay, Mr. Surfer, great stuff. Then I have the grey. There it is there. It's the surfacer. Is that 1,200? That's the 1,200. 1,200, 1,100, not much difference. Or oh, 1,000, whatever. But that's it. And I also have one that's nearly finished because I used all that on my uh, the Formula One car. Okay. So I have that. For clear, I have... 
XF86. Let me just try and turn out a light here. There we go. Okay, probably can't read it. So that's the XF. This is flat clear. XF. How bad are my eyesight? Hey? <clears throat> All right. There we go. Wow, so much better. XF86, flat clear. And then I have two bottle, uh, another bottle of XF86, because I'm going to need two. And then I've got X22 clear. Okay, that's all I need for those. All right, and they give me, they come in these, they give you these nice little plastic containers, which are useful for putting parts in later. We've got brown, I got. These were all the required paints. All right. There's all the other colors, our gun medals, our silvers. Uh, that one's a deck 10 or a copper. One of them's a copper. I think that's copper or brass. Gold, gold leaf, gold, gold leaf on a tank. <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember tanks having propellers. <laughs> uh, anyway, <coughs> I thought I had brass. That's a deck tan. Then we've got, uh, what's that, medium gray. See, we got these colors here. There's our white for the interior. And then we've got the uh, metallic gray, um, black, <coughs> plus the other paints I had left over. I'm sure there was a brass was on my list, and I don't have brass here. But that's probably why they got gold leaf. Might be able to do something with that. Not really, hey, but anyway. So, yeah, so there's all those. Uh, uh, Jim's moving on. See you, mate. Pete's and three stooges away. Good one. Cheers, mate. Thank you for joining in. We've just gone over the hour mark already. Wow, that's cool. Um, lighter fluid. Yeah, what do you do with the lighter fluid? <laughs> I could do some damage with a lighter fluid. Um, yeah, that's right. You have all the different grades. Uh, buff and yellow green. Right. Uh, what's this? Jim saying, no lacquer should dry to the touch in an hour or so. 20 hour, 24 hours for full cure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Um, yeah, well, that's good, but I can't get outlaw paints anymore. So, yes. Oh, is it for the ammo? Okay, of course. Yeah. Good. And you thin your oil paints. Radio. No problem. I can do that. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're really down in numbers this week. I wonder why. Maybe it's because of the time changes and stuff, or is there other streaming going on? I don't think there was when I was checking. But anyway, that's okay. Um, yeah, so there you go. That That's it. I've started on that. Um, it's going to be a lot of work, this tank. There's a lot of detail in it. I mean, yeah. Some of those parts are incredibly small. It's been a while since I've done a mini art tank. But anyway, it's all good. All right. Well, I think we'll wind it up here. I've got to stick my tail light back on my motorbike over there and put it on the side. Um, one thing I will mention too, that the hobby shop here, they've, um, they've said to me that if I want, I can display my models there. They've got display cases at the entrance. And uh, she said there's plenty of room if I want to put a model there, if I can sell it, if I want, put a price on it or put my 
YouTube channel name there so people know who it was made by. So I'll probably be doing that. I need to look at getting some acrylic cases um, to cover boxes to put them in um, because the dust is really bad here and it gets everywhere. So they, they can't, even though they have glass display cases, they're not enclosed. Um, so I need to um, look at getting some, even just plastic of some sort container just to put over the top, protect them a bit. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's going on with the lighting and everything here. Yeah. I might even try... There was another program I had about a month or two ago besides StreamYard that let me... It was a free program and it let me stream at 1080p. Maybe that would be... That would fix it. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, I'm heading off. Um, we didn't have Jeff Donahue in, did we? Jeff was not in, but I just noticed his video has just gone up for part one of his Airfix uh, Flying Fortress. So there you go, guys. Go over and watch his one that's just came up. Um, Trumpet display cases. Okay, that's an idea. That's cool. Um yeah, sorry I can't get a better picture. I don't know what's going on. I might try a different way to stream next week. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, may even just stream straight through YouTube. Maybe that will fix it. We'll see. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to be indoors again today because it's going to be another scorcher out there and smoky day. Um, I have video editing to do, so I'll go down to the... Um, digital nomad space downstairs and enjoy a cappuccino and a croissant uh, for for lunch and um, and sit in there and enjoy the their air con that they're paying for. I know I didn't mention I was started to talk about it. I've got my first electricity bill here. So it, to give you guys an idea, you work out, we pay monthly over here. You get a monthly bill. And the bill was came yesterday. Electricity and water came to eight sixteen dollars eighteen twenty dollars for the month australian all right so that's probably you know twelve dollars us for the month very very cheap so i'm going to use the aircon more often <laughs> all right guys thank you thank you all for coming in and um i'll see you next week keep an eye out we've got Coming up to the last three videos of the Formula One car, Martini being finished, that'll be out. And uh, who knows, I might release the monkey build as extra on a different day of the week so we can get through those so that by the time you're watching uh, my mini art tank build will be up to where I'm up to in it. Okay. All right. Excellent, guys. All right. So without further ado... I hope you like my new intro, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm sure I did a new exit video as well, but I've forgotten to upload it. So you're going to have to watch the old one. But yeah, um, new intro video, something different, a bit, bit colourful. All right, guys, thank you all. Thank you for... Um, don't forget, you can always hit the super chats are there. There's... Um, PayPal options to contribute to the channel. There's buy me an iced coffee. All the iced coffees go down real well, trust me. <laughs> uh, all that will be in the description. If it's not there already, it will be before the replay is up to watch. Um, otherwise, join as an option on the channel now. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, okay? Cheers all. Bye. Have a great weekend. <laughs>